Hey, welcome to the Belso Show, eh? Today on the Belso Show, we're gonna line the golf cart under the hood area in some keep the aliens away. Rap. And the heat, boys. Hey, and the heat. We got some cheap shit here from the old Amazon, of course. Ain't nothing like dirty old Amazon. So I picked up this stuff, it was like 68 bucks for two, two packages of it. And it's not as thick as I thought it was, but I should have known better, boys. Freaking right I did. But it is from the US of A, so it can't be that bad. It's just thinner than what I expected. But I've got it now. I'm not gonna return it. I'm gonna freaking use it. So what I'm hoping to do, it's got the shiny side for the heat so you don't burn things, boys. And uh, I got two pieces this big. So hopefully I'll have enough that I can cover the Kartaruski with it. So we're gonna start, hopefully get rid of some noise too, eh? The old cackling freaking cart makes a lot of freaking noise it does. So first thing we're gonna do is, you can see, we're gonna clean the interior so it sticks, boys. So we just give her a quick clean job, get all the dust and rooskies off of it, so we can get a nice adhesive stickage going on. I wanna try to quiet her down a little bit when you're driving her. She's a little on the noisy side, she is. And maybe it'll help hold the cart together too. Boys, girls, peoples, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button. If you like this kind of shit, why wouldn't you? Who doesn't like this kind of shit? I do. She's been spitting up some mud. How the hell wouldn't it, boys? Decent. This is gonna be effing mint. I don't think I got enough. I'll tell you that right now. But hey, it is what it is, it is. We'll coat her with as much as we can. Keep her up this area and this area. And it's still dirtier than dicks. So I don't have any way of real technique to this. I'm just gonna freaking peel and stick I am. And I'll start in the corner here and work my way wherever the hell I go, hey? work wherever I go I will so we're gonna start up here so we'll get her kind of centered up like so then we'll just stick it why wouldn't we perfect done done Jim oh boys this is sticky sticky big sticker X look at that boys girl peoples that's what I'm talking about hey eh? who else is talking about it like that so we'll lift this up and we'll peel some more off we will I don't want to take too much off because we're only going to that one beam. One El Bimo. Probably not going to go in that groove, but hey, it is what it is. Nothing like tin foil on your golf cart. We can roast some weenies with this bad boy. So we'll get her under that track right there, all the way along. And then we'll get our tough uh, Razor McBlade. Should I go over that beam, boys? Why wouldn't I? Let's just keep on going. What the hell's the difference? Whoever said I didn't know what I was freaking doing. Now we'll trim along here like this. There she is. Oh yeah we did. Looks a little messy. Looks good along there. So there's that part done. Now do this part up here. Can you see? Probably not. It's gonna have to work on the bottom boys. Well he just put some heat to it with a torch. And she's not very flammable retardant, boys. It's not gonna take a flame for sure, eh? Hopefully it takes the heat, but uh, she's not real good with the heat, boys. Like it stops the heat, but the inside, look at it, she's on fire. So I'll tell you right now, if this thing burns my cart down, I'll be suing the company that makes this. So just keep your eyes on it, boys. If it catches on fire? It says heat resistant. And it sure the hell looks like it goes up in flames pretty quick. So I'm a little concerned about this right now, I am. I'll have to keep an eye on her, boys. Maybe mount a fire extinguisher in here, eh? a little compression system. But we'll keep going and hope for the best, but I don't know, man. Just like everything else you buy on the internet, garbage. Your fucking hood. What the hell's really going on? I'll leave the link below on the stuff if you want to get yourself some. It's pretty thin, it's not the best stuff. I think my golf cart's gonna catch on fire with this stuff. Just saying. Get off there, you son of a bitch. Oh my God, what a fucking pile of shit. Now you can't even get good stuff from America. Great, we probably bought it from China. Even Canada makes shit, boys. It's not the easiest thing to wrap either. <sighs> what is really going on? Fucking goddamn garbage. Getting to the point of not even caring. I hate getting to the point of not caring.
What a fucking joke. Looks like a bag of shit on my golf cart. Oh god. Look at this act. What is that? All right, I don't recommend buying this stuff. It's garbage. Absolute fucking junk. It's double wall in one spot and thin in the other spot. <sighs> what in the fuck is that? It's not even fucking sticky there. Welp, I'm done with this crap I am, hey? Eh? That's all I'm gonna do on this because I think it's gonna burn my cart down, I do. This stuff is absolute friggin' garbage. I'll leave the link below pre-warning you not to buy it because it's absolute junk, boys, eh? Hey? Not worth two cents. Amonzo just took $68 and threw it right in the garbage can. Frig. But we do that a lot nowadays, don't we? Leave your comments below if you think you throw away money all the time and you get a really shitty poor product. Because that's all it is. More money, less quality. Because right? this stuff is just garbage. Absolute garbage. Fuck sakes, boys. Girls, peoples. But anyways... I'll cobble screw a video together of this bullshit. And hopefully uh, you'll like this kind of video. It looks alright, I guess, but uh, we'll have to see how long it takes to melt. We will. But hopefully everybody's having a good day and not doing anything I ain't doing. And uh, you know what to do for now.